Hello. I love you. We care about you. You're in our prayers. Wherever you are, whatever time you find this, we invite you to not only watch and listen, but to join us in prayer and praise, in learning and in service. We gather each Sunday at Hillcrest at 1030 for worship. We invite you to join us either in person or by Zoom. The Zoom link is in the email that we send out with these videos. That Zoom link also works for our Zoom fellowship at 2.30 on Sunday afternoons. Next Sunday will be the annual meeting of the church. We'll gather after the worship service for a meeting. All members and all friends and all visitors are welcome. Only members may vote on the key issues, which include electing officers for the coming year and acting on the budget for the coming year. But everyone is welcome to listen Everyone is welcome to join in the discussions and be a part of what is happening. This week we'll have another of our Great Decisions discussions by Zoom. The link will be in the email. Our topic for this week is climate change. Thank you for being with us. You are important. Our message today is about gifts and abilities, not the big ones so much as the little ones. It doesn't matter whether your gifts are great or small, whether your abilities and your participation are great or small, they do count. You are a part of the fellowship. I'd like to begin today with a call to worship from Psalm 19, verses one and two, and then seven through nine. The heavens are telling the glory of God. The dome of the sky proclaims God's handiwork. Day to day pours forth speech. Night to night declares knowledge. The law of the Lord is perfect, reviving the soul. The decrees of the Lord are sure, making wise the simple. The instructions of the Lord are right, rejoicing the heart. The commandment of the Lord is clear, enlightening the eyes. The reverence for the Lord is pure, enduring forever. The ordinances of the Lord are true and righteous altogether. Let us pray together. Well, loving God, we thank you for your word. The word that comes to us in scripture, the word that comes to us in teaching and preaching, especially the word that comes to us from the lips of our friends and from our own hearts. We thank you for the wisdom that you offer, for the guidance that you offer, for the limitations that you set around us for our own good. We thank you for all good things. We thank you for the food that we eat, the places where we sleep, and especially for our family and friends, those we love, those we care about, those who love us and care about us. We pray for those who are sick. We pray for those who are hurting. We pray this week for the people of Tonga as they clean up after the eruption. And we pray for their relatives and friends throughout the world as they wait for that specific news that their friend or their loved one is okay. We give you thanks for the approximately 20 churches in Southern California that are a part of the United Church of Christ that are from the Polynesian Islands, Samoa, Fiji, Tonga, and others. We thank you for the gifts that they bring to our wider fellowship. We pray for those who grieve, those we know and those we don't know. We give you thanks and praise for the life of Ruth Rosencrantz. We pray for those who knew her and loved her. Bring comfort, bring peace. We pray in the name of Jesus Christ, amen. Thank you for being with us. Watch for the other video.